In 2011, the Swedish diving team known as Ocean X went on an expedition in the northern Baltic Sea between Sweden and Finland. There, they took a blurry sonar image of a mysterious rock formation. It showed a remarkably circular rock, 200 feet in diameter and 10 feet thick, balanced on a 26-foot pillar. The stone was found over a staircase-like structure that leads down into a dark hole 300 feet below the ocean's surface. Some theorize the anomaly could be a leftover anti-submarine device from World War II or a sunken battleship gun turret. Its resemblance to the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars led many to believe it could be a crashed UFO. In contrast, others consider it nothing more than a curious and fun natural geological phenomenon. Peter Lindbergh, head of Ocean X, said of the anomaly, quote, It has these very strange stair formations, and if it's constructed, it must be constructed tens of thousands of years ago before the Ice Age. Early in 2020, scientists from Stockholm University went underwater to collect samples of the anomaly area. They concluded that the rock formed thousands of years ago, carved by moving glaciers during the Ice Age. Instead of an alien material, the geologists found common rocks, like granites, gneisses, and sandstones. However, Ocean X doesn't believe the rock is a natural formation. They claim that their electronic equipment, like their satellite phone, stopped working when they got close to the anomaly. Despite the scientific findings, the team believes the rock covers up something bigger, hiding beneath the surface. In 2019, they performed several low-budget expeditions to the area. In them, they found a figure that looked like a monolith, surrounded by rectangle-shaped rocks that appeared to be stone walls. However, they couldn't collect samples or high-resolution images due to disturbances with the compass and sonar when they got close to the rocks. The team concluded that the anomaly does create substantial magnetic deviations, which they will continue to investigate. Lake Baikal Ice Circles In April 2009, astronauts aboard the International Space Station noticed a peculiar circular area of thinned ice in Lake Baikal. Baikal is the world's oldest, deepest, and largest freshwater lake, located in the Baikal Rift Valley of southern Siberia. The 2.75-mile diameter circle in the 5,387-foot deep lake mystified scientists. Similar circles of thinning ice have since been documented, with bright centers surrounded by black circles. They're so large they can only be seen by airplanes and satellites. At first, scientists thought they were caused by methane gases bubbling up from under the ice. However, no methane deposits were found in samples from underneath the circles. Marine biologists postulate it's related to convection. Eddy formations would cause the rise of warm water within the lake, making the ice melt in the shape of a circle. Still, researchers are puzzled at what caused the eddy formations in the first place. Some believe these mysterious circles are created by paranormal events or UFOs. The fact is that they are not the only surprising phenomena of Lake Baikal. In a 1977 exploration mission, the submarine Pisces inexplicably lost power at a depth of 4,000 feet. A sudden bright beam is said to have shone upon it from a mysterious source that's never been identified. There have also been several sightings of UFOs over the lake, including flying bright cigar-shaped objects. A sailor recounted that while he was on a yacht on Lake Baikal, a giant glowing disc came from underwater and shot up into the sky. It hovered over the lake for over three minutes and then flew away. In April of 1987, 13 witnesses also claimed to have seen a giant flying saucer with a phosphorescent purple ray on the center and yellow portholes as big as houses. They said it was a full moon night, which provided enough light to correctly distinguish the spaceship. After hovering for a while, it flew into the hills. Local residents have claimed to see figures in shining yellow suits, closely similar to human beings. As soon as those creatures realized they were being watched, they allegedly boarded a spaceship and flew away. All these accounts support the widespread belief that the circles could be created by alien aircraft. Malibu Alien Base 2,000 feet below the sea off the coast of Malibu rests an unusual structure deemed the holy grail of UFO researchers. This gigantic flat-topped rock, measuring two and a half miles wide, rests atop a series of pillars with a central entrance to a darker inner place. UFO enthusiasts claim it could be a secret entrance to an inland location like Area 51. Seen from above, the rock is a nearly perfect oval shape that looks like some kind of roof. In 2014, Jimmy Church, Host on the Dark Matter Radio Network and image analyst Dale Romero reviewed a series of images of the area from Google Earth. According to Church, quote, It's not unlike a domed stadium or a covered indoor racetrack or an Olympic arena. It's got that feel to it. It looks like a perfect oval man-made structure sitting on a construction site. Church theorizes that the anomaly is an alien base, which acts as a portal for spaceships to travel underground through Earth. 
According to local residents, it's common to see bright lights going in and out of the water in the anomaly area, located between Point Doom and Point Mugu. UFO writer Robert Stanley also claims to have recorded unusual radio signals from the anomaly for over a decade. He claims to have witnessed submissive UFOs go underwater and come back out. According to him, quote, Malibu is one of those locations. There's a portal. However, geologists aren't surprised by the finding. They believe the rock is a natural part of the continental shelf, which has gone through some erosion. The place, known as Sycamore Knoll, is a thrust fault, part of Southern California's fault system. The anomaly's dome-like appearance isn't unusual either, and they say it's a common variation in the offshore coastal morphology. Despite their convictions, scientists concede the rock anomaly might be some sort of unusual entrance to an undersea cave beneath the surface. The true nature of the place won't be known until someone actually goes inside. Still, Egyptologist John Anthony West said to the Huffington Post, quote, I'd hazard a guess that it doesn't go in too far, and if they do get in there, I think chances are they're not going to find the lost treasures of Atlantis. Wilkes Land Gravity Anomaly In 2006, NASA satellites registered gravitational changes in Antarctica that indicate a mass anomaly below Antarctica's ice. Researchers believe that under the Wilkes Land ice sheet, there's an impact crater 151 miles across and 2,780 feet deep. The crater is consistent with a massive asteroid strike that could be responsible for the Permian-Triassic extinction event. Better known as the Great Dying, this event wiped out 96% of sea creatures and 70% of land-dwelling organisms 250 million years ago. The idea was proposed in 1962 due to a large negative gravity anomaly recorded in the area. The crater is believed to be three times larger than the Chicxulub one, located in southern Mexico, where the asteroid responsible for the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event fell. In an interview with The Express, geologist Ralph von Fries said, quote, This Wilkes Land impact is much bigger than the impact that killed the dinosaurs, and probably would have caused catastrophic damage at the time. But the harsh climate of Antarctica and giant ice sheets make this theory difficult to prove. Ice has collected over the alleged crater for 30 to 40 million years, making it almost impossible to take samples from this subglacial geology. To study it, NASA needs to survey the area for airborne gravity and magnetic anomalies. Since the crater theory hasn't been proven, alternative theories about the anomaly have become popular. It's believed that a gigantic spaceship could be buried under the ice sheet. It's also rumored that secret Nazi bases were built during World War II, designed so flying saucers could take off from the place. The rumor was fueled by evidence of Operation High Jump. The secret United States Navy mission sought to establish an Antarctic research base. Researchers have found that the Nazis did install a secret base in the Arctic, 600 miles from the North Pole. The base, named Treasure Hunter, produced valuable weather reports. Still, it was abandoned over 70 years ago, after the crew was poisoned by polar bear meat. Lake Vostok Anomaly The existence of Lake Vostok, buried under miles of ice, was first postulated in the 1960s. It wasn't until 1993 that its presence was confirmed through satellite-based radar altimetry. Lake Vostok is the largest of Antarctica's 400 subglacial lakes. It's located beneath Russia's Vostok Station, about 800 miles from the South Pole. This 5,600-square-mile freshwater lake lies under 2.5 miles of ice. In 2001, NASA scientists identified a massive magnetic anomaly on the east coast of this 35-million-year-old lake. Usually, magnetic anomalies are small and cannot be differentiated from regular changes in the magnetic field. However, according to researcher Michael Studinger, quote, this anomaly is so big that it can't be caused by a daily change in the magnetic field. Geologists like Studinger believe the anomaly provides evidence of the lake's geological structure where the Earth's crust is thinner. It's estimated that in that area, the Earth's crust stretched and thinned up to 3%. Plans to drill deep into the lake to gather samples were delayed by environmental groups that opposed disturbing the pristine, prehistoric waters. However, there was great curiosity about what kind of life forms could be found in the lake, which has been isolated for millions of years. Russian scientists eventually succeeded in drilling the lake and retrieving uncontaminated samples in 2013. Two miles underneath the ice sheet, they discovered an unclassified form of life within water samples. Sergei Bulat, a researcher at the Laboratory of Eukaryote Genetics at the St. Petersburg Nuclear Physics Institute, said, quote, After excluding all known contaminants, we discovered bacterial DNA that does not match any known species in global databanks. Microorganisms have been found in the lake through the years. Researchers believe it contains a deep biosphere that's been capable of surviving an abscess of sunlight, high pressure, extreme cold, and increased oxygen concentrations. <laughs>